Welcome back, everybody. We've just launched a brand new protocol in the Hex Pulse Chain ecosystem. It's called PHUX.io. And in this video, I'm going to explain to you how to use it, what it's all about, how to make money from it potentially. And most importantly, if you stick around till the end, I'm going to explain to you how you can potentially qualify for your free airdrop of the PHUX token itself. So stay with me. We'll make it short and sweet. It's called PHUX. It's a fork of an Ethereum protocol called Balancer. And what Balancer is and what PHUX is, it's basically deep liquidity pools for stable coins and other assets, but you don't only have to bond two coins together. You can bond many, many coins together, sometimes five or six tokens in one liquidity pool. What does it end up doing? Well, it makes order execution a lot cheaper for people. In layman's terms, basically it means you get cheaper transaction fees and you get more of the coin that you want without having to deal with this pesky little thing called slippage. So for the newcomer that's not familiar with this yet, this is a very, very necessary innovation for a thriving cryptocurrency ecosystem. It's been running fine on Ethereum for a long, long time now. For three years, it's been running and the team, Buck over at the Fiat team has forked the code, put it onto Pulse Chain. And like we're doing with all good projects on Ethereum, just building out the infrastructure for Pulse Chain itself. So this is a critical development in the ecosystem right here. Look at the screen in front of you. This is the website, phux.io. Link in description below, of course. It's live on Pulse Chain mainnet specifically, not the Ethereum mainnet. So make sure with your MetaMask, you're connected to the Pulse Chain mainnet. And you'll see, look at all these liquidity pools that you can now trade in and out of. You'll notice that these don't quite look like the liquidity pools on PulseX, do they? You'll notice that there's more than two assets in some of these. And in some of them, they're not quite a 50-50 spread. So here's an example, the bridge stable pool. We've got USDT bonded with USDC and DAI, all bridged in stable coins. And they're all pooled together in this liquidity pool so that, for example, if somebody wants to trade their DAI for USDT or their USDT for USDC, they can do that in very, very large quantities without taking a whole bunch of slippage and essentially just sacrificing a lot of their hard-earned money on transaction fees and just not getting the best order execution in the end. As a really quick example of why this is cool, and this starts to be cool too for whales. And you guys know, if you, even if you're not a whale, you should be excited about this anyway because whales need this and we want whales in our ecosystem don't we we want the big serious money to come in and i'm going to show you an example right now of how difficult it would be for a whale to buy a, you know a large sum of money on pulse x versus phux here we're going to click on the composable stable pool okay connect our wallet connect metamask and we'll go over here and we'll just try to swap let's say you know a whole bunch of die for a whole bunch of usdc so if i want to swap a hundred thousand die for usdc I'm only gonna have to pay about $110. See, if I wanna flip-flop stable coins in my wallet and I wanna buy 100,000 uh, stable coin of another stable coin, which should theoretically still be worth $1, the fee in the end is I'm basically almost getting my full 100,000 back. I'm only having to pay about $110 in you know trading fees and slippage, which compared to $100,000, $100 is not that much, especially for a whale. Okay, this is a much more attractive platform for whales and big money to be trading in and out of. Not just for stable coins, but for all of our ecosystem tokens, Hex, Hedron, Maxi, uh, PulseX, PLS, of course, all that stuff. But you'll notice these pools that are more complicated over on here. So, so there's pools that have multiple assets, sometimes three or more. This pool, for example, holds PHEX, Pulse, Hedron, and PulseX. This is called the quad pool. And for example, if any whale wants to swap a large amount of Hedron for PHEX, they might want to come over here and do it over here because, again, there's more liquidity, deeper liquidity, and more efficient order routing. But let's go back to our swap. Remember, we're paying about $110 for DAI USDC swap over here. But if we try the same exact thing over on PulseX, the same exact thing over here, right? $100,000. Well, look at how much USDC I'm getting. I'm getting ripped off, right? I'm having to pay $2,500, well, $2,410 just in transaction fees and slippage alone because... Not only, not only does the liquidity provider fee cost more, cost 0.3% as opposed to you know 0.05%, but there's also slippage. So you'll notice there's a fee of $2,500 here, right? But the liquidity provider fee is only $500. Well, what's where is that extra $2,000 going to? Why is the net amount of stablecoin that I'm trying to trade, which should be a one-for-one -one trade, why am I getting $2,500 less, but only $500 are going to the liquidity provider. That's because of a thing called slippage, all right? That's because the order book liquidity in here is too thin and it's not necessarily taking the most efficient route. Look, it's routing me from DAI into PLS and into USDC and it's finding the most efficient route 
through all the liquidity pools, but along the way, we're eating a lot of slippage. All right, I don't have time to get into slippage. Just know that the fee that whales are going to have to pay on PulseX is way larger than the fee that they're going to have to pay here. Look, would you rather pay $100 to get your $100,000 or would you rather pay $2,500 to get your $100,000? For swaps like this, it's a really big deal, guys. But it's also a really big deal for other kinds of swaps. For example, you can bootstrap liquidity with pools like this that are heavily weighted towards one coin and less so to another coin. You'll notice that, for example, the prime PHUX pair has 80% allocated towards PHUX and only 20% allocated to wrapped PLS. And, we, and let's say we add the maximum amount of our PLS. Well, we can go ahead and click on proportional suggestion. Let's say we had a lot of PHUX. I don't have any in this wallet. But proportionally, it will calculate, you know, you want 20% of your US dollar value to be in Pulse, but you want 80% of your US dollar value to be in PHUX. So you click proportional suggestion and it'll do all the math for you. So you'd be putting up 7,000 PHUX and 50,000 PLS, roughly. And that would be your liquidity position. And the reason you would do that is because it actually saves you from impermanent loss if you believe that PHUX, the higher percentage one, is the one that's going to go up in price more. All right, we can get into why that is. If you look at the balancer documentation and you really want to understand this on a deep level, this will show you the math on how everything's calculated. Now, 50-50... Symmetric liquidity, like, like in PulseX, actually people that do 50-50 liquidity in these pools eat the most impermanent loss. Whereas 80-20, people are eating a little bit less impermanent loss. Look at this chart right here. And people can go as high as 95-5, but it's pretty common just to do 80-20. And guys, if you can, make sure you read the Git book, okay? I'll post all the links below, but just go to the website and read the documentation. When it comes to impermanent loss, all right? Highly imbalanced pools where one token is favored more than another, people experience reduced impermanent loss, that's true such as the 95.5, right? If I put up 95% PHUX and 5% PLS, I'll have relatively low and permanent loss, but that comes at a cost of increased slippage sometimes. So there's trade-offs. And the solution that they found on the balancer protocol is that to have the ideal balance of low slippage and low and permanent loss, 80-20 pools have been known to be a pretty good compromise, all right? And this right here is really the secret. Listen closely to what I'm about to say right now. To avoid impermanent loss on PHUX, you want to pick pools where the percentages are highest on the coins that you think are going to go up the most. All right. Let's take this one, for example, the RH Maxi pool. Would I want to provide liquidity for this pool? Would that be a good idea? Well, let's think about it. PLS is weighted the highest. Pulse X is number two. P hex is number three. E hex is number four. And INC is in last place. Basically, you have to rank these on your bullishness on all of them. Do you think PLS will be the top performer? Do you think Pulse X will be the second top performer? Do you think PHAX is going to go up a little bit less than Pulse X and Pulse? Basically, that's what you have to ask yourself, especially in these 80-20 pools. In these 80-20 pools, okay? Let's, let's talk about, well, this is a 60-40 pool, for example. Pepe paired with Pulse. Here, you really got to ask yourself, do you really think Pepe is going to go up more than PLS? Because Pepe is weighted higher. So if you're doing this pool and you're putting in a proportional amount, and you're doing it the right way that it, you're, it's programmed to be, you're betting on the fact that Pepe will outperform PLS. See, personally, I think this is a bad idea. I would not join this pool because I want the one, the coin with the higher percentage to be the coin that I'm most bullish on in the pair. And if there's multiple coins, for example, this is the maxi pool. I want to make sure that the ones that I'm most bullish on that I think are going to go up the most are allocated the highest. So I want to make sure that I agree that there should be 30% PHEX, 25 maxi, 8 lucky, 25 deci, 6% base. If that doesn't look appealing to me, then I might experience some impermanent loss and end up with more coins that I want less of. That is how you judge if a liquidity pool is a good idea for you personally or not. Look at the weightings. And again, I'll say this one last time. You want the coins with the higher weightings to be the coins that you predict are going to go up more in price and the coins with the lower ratings to be the coins that you think are going to go up slower in price. So you want all the coins to go up, obviously. You want all the coins to go up but you want the one with the big percentage number to be the one that you think is going to go up more and the one with the smaller percentage number to be the one that you think is also going to go up, just not as much. Capiche? Read these documents and you'll understand a lot. But guys, when we go over to, over to Pulse X, right, and we go to liquidity and we try to add liquidity, let's say I want to put in 1 million PLS tokens into the Pulse Pulse X pair. Well, we are forced on Pulse X to do a 50-50 split, right? In, in US dollar terms is what I'm talking about. So because one PLS is worth about 2.5 Pulse X, then if I put in a million PLS, I have to put up an exactly symmetric amount 
of 2.5 million pulse X on the other side. And it does all the calculations for you. Look at the screen right here. So that's called symmetric liquidity, a 50-50 split. That's what Uniswap V2 and Pulse X, they force people to do this. You can't do asymmetric liquidity. You can't have more than two coins in a pair and you cannot weight them differently. With PHUX, the possibilities are almost literally endless. So you can create any pair you want and the pairs get voted in by the token holders, but you can also put in however much allocation you want. So I don't even have to put in the right proportion into this pool, right? Theoretically, I could just go ahead and put 50,000 pulse into this pool and I could put in zero PHUX into this pool, okay? And I could preview this and I, I could set that right now. Now that's not ideal, right? You wanna do the proportional suggestion ideally unless you really know what you're doing and maybe you wanna get rid of one coin in favor for another coin. Like if I wanted to buy PHUX using PLS, for example, I might just put in all my liquidity on the PLS side because I know that eventually I'm gonna accumulate PHUX by people trading in and out of my coins all day long. But again, infinite possibilities, guys. Let's look at these multiple pools, okay? These multi-coin pools are pretty interesting. You've got RH Maxi, Alex Hedron Maxi. Making these pools fortifies the prices of assets that are all kind of similar. So if you're an RH Maxi, like I kind of lean towards that. I'm not totally, but I really like this pool, for example, because it holds all my favorite coins in one liquidity pool. That's Rap Pulse, Pulse X, P Hex, E Hex, and INC. And guys, here, instead of e hacks, we're just saying w hex. That just means wrapped hex. e hex, it's the same thing in this case. So if I want to put up liquidity here, I can go here, add liquidity, and I can put up some hex of mine. And theoretically, I don't even have to put up all the other proportions of 20% p hex, 5% inc, 10% e hex, 25% pulse hex, and 40% pulse. But these are the recommended values. And you should pretty much go with the recommended values if you want to maximize your transaction fees. Again, unless you're doing something more complicated where you want to like, for example, spend and get rid of one coin in favor for, you know, all these other coins. If, if all I wanted to do is put in a million P hex over here and eventually accrue all these other coins. And I said, I don't care about my million P hex. I don't care if I only pull out 200,000 P hex later, as long as I'm accruing other coins, then yeah, maybe you would go into only one of these assets in the pool, but it makes it really easy on this protocol to just click proportional suggestion, proportional suggestion, proportional suggestion and it'll calculate the ideal quantity of all these tokens to add for you so that you can maximize your liquidity fees as a liquidity provider and minimize your impermanent loss. Just an example for now, I'm not actually gonna put up these liquidity pools. So if you want to be a liquidity provider or if you're a whale looking to do large transactions, swapping, let's say a crap ton of EHEX for a crap ton of Pulse while having minimum impact on the price chart, this is good for both sides of the equation. This is great for liquidity providers that wanna make money and it's great for whales that want efficient order execution in similar assets, okay? So this is an advanced strategy. I'm not recommending everyone go in, but if you're a larger holder and if you understand this on a deep level, like I'm trying to explain, you might want to consider, you know, some of these APRs over here are pretty tasty right now. If you're a liquidity provider, right? Not Let's say you're not a whale trader, but just a liquidity provider and you want to put up, you know, 40% pulse, 25% pulse X, P hex, E hex, INC into, into this RH maxi liquidity pool. Well, you'd be earning 19% APR right now. And for people that have, you know, $100,000, $200,000 worth of tokens, this might be a pretty attractive offer for you because let's say you like all these coins. You don't care if you end up with slightly more of one coin and slightly less of another coin. Like me, for example, the impermanent loss is going to be minimal. But even in the off chance that I end up with a little more pulse and a little less E hex, for example, I'm okay with that because no matter which coin you get, you're gonna be happy with it. So that's basically the one rule for entering a liquidity position. Rule number one is look at the liquidity pool tokens. Look at the tokens, assuming they're not stable coins, which is super low risk because one stable is always gonna be a dollar no matter which token it is. But assuming that you wanna provide liquidity in one of these more complicated pools, let's say it's the Alex Hedron Maxi pool. And I wanna put in all five of these coins, Icosa, Hedron, P Hedron, E Hedron, all that stuff. Well, you better be okay liking all of these coins. As a liquidity provider, you better like all of these coins because you're gonna end up with some slightly different balance of coins. Now your impermanent loss, again, will be very low, but when you pull out your liquidity later, you're gonna have different balances. But given that impermanent loss is so much lower than it would have been on PulseX already, the risk is already so much lower. And in addition, you're making some crazy APRs right now in transaction fees, right? And not only in transaction fees, but you're also earning Basically, the INC token of PHUX, 
which is PHUX token itself. So yes, you're earning transaction fees and you're also earning the PHUX token. This seems like an incredible opportunity when it comes to liquidity providing for you know smart liquidity providing uh, in addition to PulseX. It's not a competitor to PulseX, okay? We're still gonna have PulseX. This is an advanced liquidity providing strategy for bigger players, whales, and liquidity providers alike to provide deep liquidity, to generate a new source of passive income and get amazing order execution, typically for those larger players with tens of thousands of dollars and above. If you're coming in with $1,000, $2,000 worth of coins, well, 14% APR on that might be okay. Might be pretty low risk, especially with your impermanent loss too. But if you don't know what you're doing, as always guys, read into it before you just rush into go doing all this stuff. I just think this is too good of a deal for me to ignore right now. And again, you can look at all the math and see how an 80-20 pool actually ends up in lower impermanent loss than a 50-50 pool. It all makes sense when you when you read it out loud, but I'm not gonna bore you with all the math. If you're really into the technical stuff, all these links in description below. But more importantly, guys, the PHUX token and the airdrop, that's coming very soon. What is the PHUX token? Before we talk about if you qualify for the airdrop, let's talk about what the token does, all right? So the token, the PHUX token is stakeable and if you stake it, you basically get a portion of the platform fees. It's pretty simple right here. Protocol fees. 60% of all protocol fees, which are just transaction fees, go to the LP providers. And 40% of all the protocol fees go to the VEPHUX holders. Now, what is, what is VFUX? Guys, what is VFUX? It's slightly different than the original FUX token. So we're going to go back here and we're going to click on VFUX on the top here. Okay. Now, if you want to get VFUX, click on this button. Okay. And in order to get VFUX, you need prime fux now how do you get prime fux you click on get prime fux the way to get prime phux is in particular you have to provide liquidity on this pool so if you provide liquidity on the phux pulse pair you get a representation token called prime phux now i've already done this on a different wallet so i'm i'm doing this right now you add liquidity on this particular pair it has to be this pair because they're bootstrapping liquidity over here they want there to be a lot of liquidity. They want the price of PHUX to go up, basically. And so do I, because why not? It's a good token. And so once you get some of that in your wallet, you hop on over here, back to the previous screen, and you say, I want to stake X number of my prime PHUX and lock it until how long? You have a couple of options. Two weeks, one month, three months, six months, one year. Me personally, I just did one year. So I'll be able to unstake these prime PHUX tokens in a year's time. And that's fine. I don't care. I don't want to touch it for a while because... Then by staking this prime PHUX, that's how I get my VE PHUX. It's a three-step process. You do liquidity providing on Fux PLS, right? This gives you prime Fux. You hop over here, you stake your prime Fux for a long time. I like one year personally. And after you stake your prime Fux, you get V Fux. So V Fux is the token that gives you that passive income when you go over here and gives you voting rights and extra earnings. So by holding VFUX, you are the house. You get that 40% of transaction fees. Remember from the documentation over here, you get 40% of protocol swap fees and you get to vote on liquidity pools that you like or don't like. So look at all these liquidity pools that are being proposed. You now have a say in influencing the ecosystem by holding this, this VFUX, okay? So you can propose a new liquidity pool if you are so inclined, or you can just go ahead and upvote liquidity pools that already exist and be part of the ecosystem and be part of the future of this protocol. It's very, very awesome. Very interesting. Now, how do you get it? Well, guys, the airdrop for round one is currently out. And if you are an eFiat holder and you have had eFiat in your same wallet the whole time, congratulations, you qualify. Also, if you're a Pulse Chain and PulseX sacrificer and you're still holding Pulse Chain or PulseX in that original sacrifice wallet, congratulations, you also qualify. Now, don't worry, if you don't fall into one of those two categories, you still will qualify for future rounds of airdrops in the future. If you really want to know if you're going to get airdrops or not, go to the documentation, click on airdrops, and this will explain all about round one. Look, round one, the airdrop is given to Pulse PulseX holders and eFiat holders. As long, again, as you have the Pulse and the PulseX tokens and the eFiat in the original wallet that you sacrificed for originally. Okay, if you've moved into a different wallet, you just got to wait till the airdrop round two. They're going to fix all that stuff in airdrop round two. But don't worry, you're not missing out that much because round two is going to be next week. And today is June 18th. Round two is going to be next week. Now, in order to claim, it's really simple. You go to fatty.io, fatty.io, link in description below. Go to my portfolios over here. 
uh, go to the mint section and then just sign in using your MetaMask wallet that you sacrifice from. Sign in, MetaMask, and here you are. It'll tell you if you're eligible to claim or not. So you just add the tokens to your wallet from here. And if you don't have any, well, that's okay. Hold your horses, keep an eye out for airdrop round two and three and beyond. Make sure you join the PHUX Telegram channel. That's when you're going to get all the details, okay? Join the Telegram channel. Follow PHUX on Twitter, okay? This is PH PHUX Given, okay? This is the only real Twitter account. And then, of course, you can go to the documentation again, link in description below, and join their Telegram channel as well, t.me forward slash PHUX Crypto, okay? That, all your questions are going to be answered there, but congratulations if you qualify for some free coins. You get free fucks. You stake your fucks to get prime fucks. You can stake those to get VFUX, and we're all very fucksing happy about that, aren't we? All right, guys, I hope you get some free money. Like and subscribe to this video for more content like this. Make sure you leave a comment, share the video. It helps the algorithm make this content go viral because it pumps all of our bags, and I'll see you on the next video.